Hi all, I wanted to make a quick market day and summary for 20th of September 2024. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. So today I'm uploading this video a little late. Generally my video is up by 4.35 maximum. But today it's about 8 p.m. that I'm making this video. It should be up by about 8.39. I was out most of the day, so it got delayed. I took a quick trade today morning in mid cap, made about 25 points. Uh, it was a little lower than 25 points, 24 points, seven or something, I don't remember. I was in a rush, I saw the opportunity, I took it. I also left uh, the screenshot of the buy and sell price on Telegram, and then I had to step out. When I got back, I looked at the charts. I don't like looking at the charts when I'm on the move because um, I don't want to be tempted to trade, so. When I got back, I looked at the charts and uh, looks like we had a pretty volatile session. There was this big red candle. So we'll discuss all of this today. So right now, what you see on the screen is uh, Nifty mid cap on the left and Nifty on the right. Uh, mid cap, there was some shorting opportunity initially. I think I made in the first two candles itself, I had made some money. I, I don't exactly remember. Uh, had I held on to my position for... Another two, three minutes, I would have made more than double or triple the amount that I made. But nevertheless, no problem. Yesterday was the big thing. I only made 10% of the entire rally. The total rally was of 340 points. I only made less than 10%, 30 points in that whole rally. My entry was near perfect. Uh, today also, today not that much, but yeah. I was on the right track. The shorting in the first 15 minutes was the right thing to do in mid cap. And uh, post that it recovered. And you can see recovery in both, uh, especially in mid cap and uh, how the Nifty 50 also climbed. Nifty 50 gave a beautiful climb from this level. It went up about 325 points on the spot chart, which is great. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, it decides to take this big dip of about 300 points. Lot of people would have lost money who were sitting on call positions over here. This is a, what you call a stop loss triggering kind of a candle. A lot of people would have lost money over here. If they have not booked profits somewhere till here, then they would have, they would have been waiting for this breakout to happen. So that is the reason, you know, you should not be too greedy. Every day have a target of a few points and then take those points and get out. Because you see this uh, RSI plus MACD at the bottom is already showing some weakness. So people who are following my RSI plus MACD, the indications would have been here itself about they would have got an indication at about 1, 1 5 p.m. that this weakness setting in, they should have exited at that point of time. Anyways, People who exited earlier would have made good amount of money in this call position in Nifty. And uh, again, in the second half, in this bounce, they would have made good money. Some shorters who would have got lucky over here would have made good money in this short. So overall, I would say it's a nice trending day. Uh, and uh, it gave opportunities to both bulls and bears to make money. This kind of movement in Bank Nifty also is quite volatile. Bank Nifty moved all the way from uh initial dipping bit and then it moved all the way about 600 points and uh, then post that it dipped about how many points about 520 points so very volatile day up down up again and then it climbs again from here it recovers 900 points in the end so which is phenomenal all right is this normal i don't think so but as long as you are guided by the MACD plus RSI, especially the strategy that we have been using or I have discussed with uh, everybody actually, this there's a video on my channel called, M called MACD plus RSI. Everybody should see it and use that setting. See it more than once. It's one of my best settings ever. And the best part is I am the creator of this setup. <laughs> it's not by anybody else. All right. And it works like a charm. In any case, uh, this uh, at about 3 p.m., there's a good long opportunity. People would have made good amount of money if they went long after 3 p.m. 
I generally don't trade after 2.30 but again the opportunity was there there was both long opportunity and short opportunity in in uh, in all indices today some little more some a little less but yeah for traders today would have been a good day I'm sure uh, India VIX, VIX would have also risen and fallen I can see it has ended at about 12.8 which is not bad so overall a nice trending day for a disciplined trader some traders would have made really good money today some may have lost also but people who have made money good be happy about it don't get too excited and the people who have lost money don't be too sad ups and downs are all part of the game all right so now let's move on to our four hour charts we will quickly first discuss it on how things are looking on the four hour time frame with our automatic fibonacci so you can see we are exactly between these two fib lines one is the blue one on top at 25951 and one is at the bottom at 25619 it's exactly ended at the center we will get to know in the coming week whether it's going to go higher or it's going to go down now fii today have made uh, fii today have made a 14000 crore purchase i i really don't know what they have purchased what 14000 crores because i was just checking prior to making this video and uh, DI has have sold worth about 4,000 something and FI has have bought something like 14,000 crores today which is a surprising thing maybe that's why the market moved in the uh, last bit I'm not too sure but yeah FI stats show that there's a 14,000 crore purchase today that's a little surprising in any case guys nifty is between two Fibonacci levels so we really don't know which way it'll go We'll have to wait in the coming week and see. As I'm making this video, US futures are slightly in the red. Uh, uh, European futures are slightly in the red. All else look good. Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum is swinging a little bit. It's more or less flat at this point of time. Suddenly, there was a big dip about an hour back, which started. In any case, I think the volatility in the market is increasing. The kind of movements we have seen today very destructive for some very constructive for some maybe anyways so bank nifty looks like this give it some time it's a it's a heavy indicator it'll do all its calculations and then throw out yeah there it is so bank nifty as you can see has now breached the level again we're talking about futures has clearly breached the level of 53318 and is heading towards 53840 which is this line over here all right once this is breached then this fibonacci will automatically calculate and then throw the next level of support and resistance currently it always works on the previous high and low so currently it's working on this high and this low and these levels have come out if there is a new levels that needs to be formed then it will do the match itself and formulate the new levels and that is what we need to wait and see that's why this is currently work in progress currently i'm happy with the way it's working we will however see how it works in the future and when I'm, once I'm totally satisfied I shall share it with my members alright so this also more or less is sitting between two Fibonacci levels we will get to know in the coming week how things proceed Fin Nifty now okay Fin Nifty has breached the upper bit which is watched at 24564 and is heading higher I'm sure this Fibonacci will now work out new calculations in the coming week and throw out a new support and resistance figures so good good breakout seen in uh, fin nifty now today oh, nifty has gone over a percent up in futures uh, mid cap is almost flat bank nifty is 0.7 percent up and fin nifty is 0.92 percent up so fin nifty has done a little better than bank nifty also let's have a quick look at mid cap mid cap has been uh, not getting too excited there's some weakness in mid cap uh, like i mentioned yesterday so that theme seems to be continuing it, it tried to recover today but could not do much as you can see the last two candles are from today it more or less ended where it had ended yesterday so you can see the levels on screen the resistance for it is at 13200 the support for it is the immediate support for it is at 30 13098 uh, which is currently about 20 points below from where it stands currently and then the next support is at 12994 or you can say 13000 we will see now in the coming week which way the trend is moving all right right now it's very difficult to suggest, suggest because the market seems to be today today's movement is abnormal movement that's not normal 
uh, that shows a high amount of volatility in the market anyways uh, again looking at the four minutes time frame with adaptive trend finder we can see that nifty is comfortably on an uptrend the the span between the adaptive trend finder is quite big the range actually is quite wide so all good for nifty bank nifty is moving in a tighter range but still the trajectory is upwards pin nifty is moving in a tight range but the trajectory is still upwards mid cap just like nifty is in comfortable in a wide range and it's again trying to move up so all in all all trends indicate still that we are in a bullish phase uh, we will get to see in the coming week how things proceed but just imagine the kind of candles we saw today in the five minute session if something like that to, were to happen on the four hour time frame and we see a disastrous candle something like a 2000 point fall in bank nifty or maybe even a two and a half three thousand point fall in bank nifty within minutes and maybe a thousand point fall in nifty then what will happen you can you imagine what will happen to people's portfolio and stuff like that and I can't rule it out at this stage. Something like that is definitely possible. Because the market, when it rises, it will rise, 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 rise. It will make everybody believe that now I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to fall. All right. It will take shorters to the cleaners every day. Everybody who will be people who are shorting will be losing money, losing money, losing money. And when the last shorter has lost money and everybody now has got a consensus that this market is not going to fall that is when the market will fall and it will fall badly taking everybody for a ride all right the, at least that's the way i think so i may be completely wrong but that's what the market does there was euphoria in 2008 i've seen that your euphoria the market's going up every day and then there was a big crash after that i have not seen that kind of euphoria again maybe we are going to witness that again between now and maybe 2006 i don't know the exact time 2026 so i don't know or when that will come but that eventually will come all right guys on that note i'll end this video sorry for uploading the video a little late today um with the good bits i am still uploading and uh, i didn't want to do the live stream today for for crude and natural guys natural gas because it's been sideways for the last couple of days anyway the live stream for bitcoin and ethereum is still running if anybody wants to see that 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 uh, live stream is still on all right guys thank you very much i hope my indicators are helping you and i hope some of my members would have made money today and uh, on that note i'll end this video thank you very much for watching if you're not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe Share the video with your family and friends. Please give the video a like, a thumbs up so that we are motivated to make more videos for you. If you're already a subscriber, consider becoming a member with us. Uh, we make exclusive video for members every now and then and share it with our members. Subscribe to our Telegram channel as well. The link is given in the description in all our videos. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend.